Hey buddy, this is John, and today we're going to be looking at a new game engine. So, a lot of you were like, okay, I can I do this with the free version of Construct 2? Or, I have this version, and I don't want to update it, or I can't. Um, I'm sorry, maybe you downloaded it illegally. Well, with the new update of people, um, or Construct2 or Sierra, the company that makes Construct2, now working, uh, well, they've already put out like a server uh, based Construct2 where you have to have paid uh, $99 a year. Uh, though, from the fringes of my memory, I think they do have like a regular version. They're still, co they're still working on Construct, uh, the regular Construct2, and Construct3 is like the web based one. GDevelop is a open source. Uh, basically clone of Construct 2. So I'm going to take Construct 2 and I'm going to basically recreate and go forward with new tutorials um, trying to see okay can this at least play in the field of Construct 2. So as you can see it looks oddly just like Construct 2. Um, again we have file and it has recently opened options uh, you can change the language, default folders, you can change the appearance. So I'm pretty sure you can have this look just like um, Construct 2. I'm going to go back to regular uh, to develop office. Oh, there we go. Uh, we have projects, we have new, open, save, save as, images, add a scene, Add external events, add uh, an external layout, extensions and platforms, projects, start page, uh, basically where we at. C++ tools, converter, so you can convert MP3 and encode to AUG, um, or MP3 encode into WAVE, which you had to do, uh, which, it, well, no, it, it did that in Construct 2, um, but it would only do that in certain MP3 audio formats. Uh, an image converter, so decompress an animated GIF, which I can't, which yeah, actually Construct2 did actually do this, but that's actually kind of cool. Decompress an RPG Maker character, never played around with one of those. Decompress a sprite sheet, that's actually kind of cool, because usually I use an external sprite thing to cut it up. Image bank, so add an image, add from library, move up, down, preview. We have a scene, so that's actually kind of cool. Uh, events, so we can play around with those. Objects, we can add objects, rename, copy, blah, blah, blah. And we can do some coding too. Um, HTML5, so that also is web and Android. And then native, so like Windows or Linux games. So if we do like the native Windows or Linux games just to get our feet wet, uh, space game, a template, uh, how to set up a character being controlled by a keyboard. So we just create that real quick. We have projects. We have our project images, scenes, new scene, external events, external layout, and we have extensions. So we have draggable behavior, physics behavior, primitive drawing. This is going to be kind of cool. Uh, objects. We have our soldier, wall, obstacles, floor, ground, and solid objects. We have our event. So, not as pretty as Construct 2. This is more of a almost based off a coding system, but you can just use straight up no coding. Okay, so we have like no conditions, rotate soldier towards mouse X zero so it's like a little I wouldn't say um, harder but it's a little bit more engaging than construct 2 well we're gonna go through this step by step like always when I do my tutorials I do some baby steps in every single tutorial and then we take it on from there so when soldiers moving do uh, zero enter the number of the current animation of soldier soldiers in collision with solid object no actions the Y position of soldier A is solid. Soldier height, soldier height. Okay, so if we actually preview this, So 
that's actually kind of cool. We do have. Oh no. Okay. It just looks weird. The, sh the shadowing is not 100% perfect. And we have that issue. And we have this issue. Mask, return to initial fill position, object editor, layer editor, instances. Alright, guys, so I just wanted to show you guys a little bit about GDevelop. And our next tutorial, we're actually going to do a simple platformer. So it's basically us having a character. Um, a simple little environment and then we're going to just collect stuff that's it so basically set up a character animation uh, an area where he can walk on a background and then objects say he can collect and possibly a variable counter to say hey you have this many items so if you remember my doggy days tutorial from like way back when I started construct 2 something very similar to that but we're going to actually change it up um, unless you guys want to kind of like bring back those sprites so you guys can use those um they're actually on open game art and i'll link those in that tutorial too even though i probably won't use them um so it's going to be a very very simple game of collecting stuff um yeah actually why not why not just use the doggy days tu uh, tutorial and just it, it basically just expand on it where we um, are collecting stuff for the dog house so it's either going to be the owner or the dog um, so I'll see you guys in the next tutorial I just want you to get you guys a little bit familiar with GDevelop the link is going to be down below we're going to be starting um, a bunch of tutorials on this and kind of expanding our knowledge um, on this little tutorial series so, I'll see you guys later. Bye.